On Friday night, the Barry Molson Center played host to WCP Super Brawl, a night of entertaining boxing. A few thousand fans were in attendance to witness a battle for the vacant NABA Canadian heavyweight title, as Nevin No Surrender Pikich looked to battle Louisiana State heavyweight champion Johnny White. In the opening round, the champion looked flat as he tried to use foot movement and his jab to establish the pace. But White had other plans as he searched for vicious right hooks throughout the contest. The 33-year-old champion looked slower than he has in the past and labored to make it through the rounds, while White tried his best to land effectively. In the ninth round, White used his power and landed a thunderous blow that wobbled his Toronto-based opponent. After 10 rounds, the decision would be left in the hands of the judges, and in what some may have called a questionable decision, Nevin Pikich claims the NABA title and remains undefeated in a less than spectacular affair. There was a, there was a reason I, you know, there's no excuses, of course, but uh, I was I, I had really bad flu. Like uh, it ended a week ago, so you know that kind of cut my conditioning sig significantly. I was in bed for a week, but uh, no, nobody knew about it, so it was kind of a, a little secret. This is the kind of guys I have to be facing to to get to the top, and um, you know, tomorrow is the next day. It's a new day, and uh, thank God, thank Lord, I got a win tonight. I know it was uh, it was close, and the scorecard showed that it was a close. Um, you know, it's a learning curve, like I said, and, uh, you know, future can only look bright. He was tying up, holding me, gave me a head, but they never gave him no warnings, no nothing, you know what I mean? And everybody trained hard to win, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's not fair you rob somebody like that, you know what I'm saying? That's my career, that's how I feed myself, that's how I feed my family. I mean, it's very disturbing that, you know, if he was at my hometown, he would beat me, they would give him a decision. And me to come here and I beat him and they not give me a decision is unfair, you know. And I would love to have a rematch whenever he wants one, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it's a sport. Everybody trains to win, you know what I'm saying? In the night's co-feature, Oshawa's lethal Lindsay Garbett looked to defend her WIBA super featherweight belt against the very woman she beat for the title and Jelena Merdinovich. The bout that box rec gave five stars did not disappoint as both women came to fight. However, it was the champion Garbutt who set the pace with her speed, movement and accuracy as she outworked her 28-year-old counterpart. Merdinovich was very competitive, but she couldn't catch up to the lead that Garbutt had taken. After 10 exciting rounds, it would be the champion who would get the decision win and remains unbeaten in her past four. In a Canadian heavyweight title eliminator, Toronto's Rhea Lubawale was paired with the massive Ty Fields in what would be an exciting encounter. Aluba Wale, who was confident that he'd be able to dismantle the Montana native, was the one on the receiving end of a beatdown, as a 6-foot, 8-inch, 35-year-old southpaw landed crushing blows to Mount Kilimanjaro almost at will. In the third, after eating some punches against the ropes, the referee had seen enough and forced the TKO stoppage, handing Aluba Wale his third loss in his past four. Big Sky improves to 45-2 with the victory.